Hello and welcome to Brainboard. So Brainboard is a solution that allows you to visually design and manage cloud infrastructures. It contains two parts. The first one is designing systems and the second one is managing cloud infrastructures. So we have implemented the big three cloud providers, GCP, AWS, and Azure, and we are planning to add more cloud providers like Oracle, DigitalOcean, and so on. And when you select a cloud provider, you have here the complete list of all the resources that are available at the cloud provider. These resources are also the resources that you find at Terraform. And we put them into categories, compute, network, storage, DB, and so on. For this, uh, for the example of today, I've selected this simple architecture that contains a VPC with an availability zone that contains uh, public resources and another availability zone that contains uh, private resources. So to design an infrastructure, let's say I want to add a virtual machine into this security group and subnet, I just need to drag and drop. And the first power of Brainboard is it understand any technical interaction between components. So in that case, it understood that I'm adding a virtual machine inside the security group, the subnet, AZ, uh, VPC, and region. But the most important thing is that Brainboard fills the information automatically for me. So it added the region here, it added the availability zone, it added the security group, subnet, and so on. So anything that needs to be inherited between the resources, Brainboard fills it automatically. The other point is um, the parameters that you see here in the configuration menu are the parameters that comes from Terraform. And we provide you with the link into the Terraform resources if you want to understand um, deeply how these parameters work and their explanation. But we organize this information here. You have in the first part uh, the mandatory parameters. And if you want to have the complete list, uh, you have it here in the advanced configuration where we simplify the use of these parameters. So when it's a Boolean, you have just a switch. When it's a list to choose from, you have a list. For example, I choose an instance type. When it's um, the value expected is a key value and you put a random string, Brainboard tells you that uh, the, the accepted format is a key value and so on. So Brainboard guides you through the configuration uh, also of the resource. So for this example, I will add um, an AMI here to be able to uh, have a plan and deploy it. So once you validate the configuration of the resource here and you, di you design the infrastructure, you can um, come to the deploy tab where you can visualize a Terraform code that will be generated on the fly. So we're talking about hundreds or thousands of Terraform code depending on, on your architecture that will be generated. With this code, you have the possibility to push it into your repo. Uh, for my example, I configured GitHub, but we do support Azure DevOps, GitHub, and GitLab. And to create a pull request, just need to give it a name here. I call it demo and I create a pull request. Just all the files uh, for uh, necessary to, de to deploy this infrastructure, create the pull request and gives me the link uh, to be able to see it in GitHub. So I click on it. I have my commit with the changed files and this is fresh uh, repo. That's why you have all this information and I can uh, do the pipelines and deploy it as I'm used to do from my GitHub. But what is interesting is that I can do everything within Brainboard. So I can do deployment within Brainboard in the Actions tab. So you have here all what you can do with Terraform, plan, apply, and destroy. So in, in that example, in this example, I'm gonna do a plan. So when I do a plan, Brainboard uh, creates an execution environment for me, converts the graphics into a Terraform co code, execute the action, and gives me the output in real time. So here I have the output of my plan and everything is good, I can now uh, apply it. What is important to highlight here is that as Brainboard is a collaborative solution, uh, anyone who is authorized to see this architecture can see this output in real time. And we protect the states uh, by providing a lock. So anyone who will try to trigger any kind of action, Brainboard warns the users that there is an ongoing action. You need to stop it first before do doing any other action. And we have here in the third tab in the world map, um, all the resources where they are located. And we are planning to add the pricing of the resources in this tab to be able to give you 
uh, the best way to take the right decision if you need to downsize or to respect the budget or, or whatever the criteria that you have you will be you will uh, be having insights about it so this is the most straightforward way on how to design the infrastructure get the code push it into your repo or deploy it within brainboard so now we're going to zoom on what makes sense when we use uh, infrastructures within a team when in collaborative way and at scale so the first thing when we talk about infrastructure as code is that we want to apply code principles into the infrastructure and the first thing we talk about is versioning so we have implemented versioning in brainboard here let's say i want to create a new version that i call it the initial commit and save it and i do some modification on my infrastructure let's say i want to delete completely the subnet and once I delete the subnet, I'm going to create a new version and call it delete subnet. So when I do that, I have here a graphical history all, of all what happened to my infrastructure. So if I want to roll back and go to the initial commit, I just select this one and I have my infrastructure. And if I want to go back to the latest commit where I deleted the subnet, I just click here and have it. In that way, it allows you to have a graphical history of all the changes that happen to your infrastructure. And this uh, versioning is not just a graphical, it's a graphical, but also in terms of code, you, you have both uh, versioning. Then the other, th the other thing uh, about working with Terraform is that uh, we support the variables exactly as you do with Terraform. Uh, once you define a new variable here, let's say call it new variable and you give it a type, let's say a string and you save it. Once this variable is uh, saved, you will be able to use it internally within the resources. So let's say I want to reply, re replace AMI with my new variable. I just look for the new variable, select it, and use it. And talking about uh, Terraform as well, um, we support here in the extra attribute all what is supported by Terraform. So let's say I want this, um, or for example, resource to depends on the network uh, ACL, for example, the, the public one, uh, let's say this one, when I create uh, this dependency, Brainboard creates a link between two resources. This link we cannot delete uh, accidentally because it is a hard dependency, so Brainboard protects you against um, accidental deletion of the resources of connections. So it wants you here because this uh, dependency will be present in the code. So here in, in my code, if I look for, it depends on uh, the resource, uh, this instance depends on the public network ACL. So everything you see in the diagram or you design a diagram will uh, have a faithful generation for the Terraform code. Um, and again about Terraform, um, we support also the modules. You have the possibility, let's say, I'm gonna look for Terraform VPC modules from the community. I just um, take the source. This is all what is needed here. I just take the source and add it into a brain board. So here I'm gonna call it uh, AWS VPC uh, demo. And I import this uh, module. So once this module is important, <coughs> Uh, it will be like any other resources available here. If I want to use it, I just drag and drop it. And the magical thing is that Brainboard gives you all the parameters that are supported by this module. And we organize this information. You have here the mandatory one and uh, the optional here with all the information. So if you hover here, you have all the explanation, anything that comes from the, that module. Uh, and we also provide you with the output. I mean, what output is expected from this module here? So the list is huge. We provide you with all this information. The other part also, like if you feel not satisfied with this configuration, we extend the capabilities by providing you the possibility to add your custom uh, code here. You just click on the icon you have here uh, a VS Code Editor when where you can add your own code here and you save it and Brainboard will manage it as it is. So this is in terms of uh, all what is specific to uh, Terraform. Now let's talk. Let's see um, what makes sense uh, when you build infrastructure that you want to distribute within your team. 
So let's, uh, if you are satisfied, for example, and validated this architecture that contains all the best practices, security rule, and all what makes sense for your organization, you have the possibility to convert it into a template. So you come here, I'm gonna convert it into a template. I give the, vi the visibility private for our demo and I click next and I'm gonna give it a name. I call it just demo here. You can give it tags like AWS, network, uh, any kind of tags that you want to give to this architecture and you publish it into the catalog here. So let's imagine that I want to deploy this infrastructure in another environment or maybe one of my colleagues wanna use this uh, infrastructure uh, to deploy it. So I'm just look for it here for demo. I clone it, this architecture that I have just published it, and I, I have the diagram with the associated code and I'm ready to deploy it in really two seconds. So that's why we advise our users to use variables to just um, uh, change them to meet the new environment criteria and uh, deploy it. So, uh, and you have here in this catalog, we have you have uh, public and private uh, templates. So you can, if you do, you can uh, choose from the public one any uh, architecture that has been um, added by our community, and you can just clone it and use it. Our main goal also is to publish as much as templates to not reinvent the wheel that you just uh, can just clone and use. And you also have the, um, the catalog of the modules that you import. So any module you import, you have the catalog. And if you want to use it, you just need here, um, if you want to use it, you just need to pin it. Let's say I want to let, uh, to use this module, AppSync, I just click on it here. It will be pinned and uh, like any other resource, and I can just drag and drop it and use it. Um, and one of them, the exciting features that we have released recently is importing the Terraform uh, code. So here in the import, you have the possibility to import either from Git, GitLab or GitHub, or from the Terraform files. So let's import from uh, a GitHub. So here I have a repo uh, from uh, GitHub, from the official account of AWS that implements account factory, the, the newest um, uh, module from AWS, I just here need to import it and I call it uh, import demo and I click next. And what happens is that Brainboard pulls this repo, uh, reads all the files, uh, import the infrastructure and uh, give me information about the import. Here I have one warning that uh, Brainboard couldn't draw the dependency between one of two resources for uh, some reason. And the most important thing is once I have the diagram, sometimes you need to adjust the icons to best suit your um, design criteria. The most important thing is that Brainboard generates real resources for you, not just diagrams. So for example, if I click here on the Lambda, I have all what comes from the repo, all the configuration, and uh, I can change it, I can modify it, and can also add all the resources here and uh, start uh, working with this infrastructure. So it's a live infrastructure and uh, not just a diagram.